to move. As we internalize what God wants us to do, let us try with all our being to execute God's marching orders that he has given us individually and collectively. As we engage the call, let us do it in all humility, gentleness, and with patience. Are y'all hearing me on tonight? Let us do our best to deal with one another in love and be eager to maintain and sustain unity by the aid of the Holy Spirit. Whenever you love me, there's a new devil. But let us maintain and sustain unity by the aid of the Holy Spirit. There will be good times and there will be struggles. But let us maintain and sustain unity by the aid of the Holy Spirit. There will be agreements and there will be disagreements. But let us maintain and sustain our unity by the aid of the Holy Spirit. The work we are called to do, guess what? It ain't going to be easy. But let us maintain and sustain unity by the aid of the Holy Spirit. There will be acceptance and there will be rejection. But let us maintain and sustain unity by the aid of the Holy Spirit. See, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away. And behold, all things have become new. So the songwriter said, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. Don't let him go with me. Still, I will follow. No turning back. The cross I carry, I'll carry it until I see Jesus. No turning back. The world behind me. The cross before me. No turning back. See, I'm not turning back, my brothers and my sisters, if I'm not on. I'm not turning back if I'm talking about you. I'm not turning back if folk talk about me. I'm not turning back if I'm ignored. I'm not turning back if I'm abused. I'm not turning back if I'm broken. And I'm not turning back even in the midst of the storm. See, the songwriter said, I've been changed. I've been healed. I've been freed. I've been delivered. I won't go back to the way I used to be. Do I got five votes? I've been here. I've been here. I refuse to go back to bondage. To go back to brokenness. To go back to anger. To go back to backbiting. No turning back. No turning back. In the book of Ephesians, the overall theme from Paul the Apostle to the Church of Ephesus and the surrounding regions is that Christ has reconciled all creation to himself. To God, we've been reconciled. And we've been reconciled to one another in his church. This reconciliation and unification was accomplished through the power, sovereignty, and free working of God. And this reconciliation is recognized and received. I all believe about that. Amen. 
in our text. The theme Paul gives is that the old way has to go. Whether you want to or you don't want to, Mother Woods, 2022 is now gone. Amen. But the old way of doing things, Brother Evan, it has to go. And the old way simply will open a new door. The old way has to go, Deacon Lewis, because we've been made new. The old way has to go because we have been made new. Hallelujah. As those who believe in God, it has been made new in our hearts. Which means, my brothers and my sisters, our thinking or state of mind has been elevated to a higher plane. The songwriter says, Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven's table land, a higher plane that I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. See this elevation. By God to a higher plane or change of mind causes our actions and our words to change for the better. All right. Furthermore, because of this newness given to us by God, we must understand that this fresh wind has been granted. And handcrafted Hallelujah. by God Hallelujah. so we can be more like Him. Hallelujah. In the state of newness, we do all that we can to attain the righteousness of God as we hunger for the holiness of God. And even in 2023, Holiness, my brothers and sisters, is still right. Still right. As we grasp the fact that we are to do our best to walk in righteousness uh -huh. and in the holiness of God, this helps us understand that not only have we been made new by God, Come on. but there must be an acceptance an implementation of the new. Okay. All right. Do something with it. All right. This newness, it comes from God. But you got to receive it. And you got to do something with it. Yes, sir. This causes us to put away. Old corrupt thinking and all despicable habits, and it encourages us to do what we need to do to build up our brothers and our sisters. And if we build up our brothers and our sisters, it has a direct action in building up the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 So our building here affects the building there. Amen. Amen. In the midst of this newness, we receive and embrace the fact that there will be difficulties. There will be trials. Everybody ain't gonna like you. All right. Everyone is not going to receive your ministry. 
But the Bible says, don't get bitter. We are to silence rage and anger. There are to be no quarrels, but we are to simply be kind to one another. Amen. Amen. Tender hearted. Forgiving one another, even as God and Christ forgave us. God cares enough about us not only to redeem us and restore us, but God, Jeremy, has made us new. Amen. Amen. I think of 
here to wrestle with you. Let's give God some praise.